So this meal you've cooked because it somehow takes you back to something from your from your past. Mm -hmm. We've been chatting in the kitchen, but I have told you to be very careful not to give me any clues, and you, oh, haven't, yes. you haven't told me anything Absolutely about what nothing. that is. I can't imagine you were cooking this when you were sort of eight years old, but um, maybe early teens, 12, something like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It must be something that you've improved upon, although I would imagine the way you think back to it at that time would have felt like that was the definitive version. Another really important question I want to ask you um, is, can I now eat here for free for the rest of my life? <laughs> <laughs> or sort something else. No pressure, but obviously it would you know, just be a very nice gesture. Um, that's interesting, even then, just in the way you laughed. Uh, this is someone else's house, I think. And this is an easy, fun event. How clearly can you picture that environment that you were very in clearly. at the time? The smell. The, the the smell, yeah, and of course it is the smells that really sort of take us back. The smell of the shallot, the saffron, and so on. It's very, very vivid. Will you do me a favor? Will you close your eyes? And just, just smell from this food, particularly the saffron. It's the dried stigmas, mm. isn't it, from the, from, from crocus, from the, the, the saffron right. crocus. Just take that in and whatever comes to mind, just allow that image to bloom in your mind and be in the picture looking out. Yeah. Open your eyes for me. So immediately that's a bright colour. The yellow, bright yellow. Horrible coloured yellow. Horrible coloured yellow kitchen. Excellent, fantastic. If you come out of the kitchen, into the dining area, wherever you're going to eat, first thing is, is activity. Now, if you're little and running around, I also imagine there'd be like a couple or um, animals or something like that, because yes. th there's a lot of activities you're imagining this. A couple of dogs, oh, that's a guess, but two, yeah. two dogs. Yeah. Excellent, okay. Can you picture them separately? Yeah. So it's one light and one dark. Yes. You've got the light one on that side and the dark one on that side. As you yes. picture them, that's interesting. You see the yes, light one there and the dark yes. one there. Okay. Can you remember their names? Oh, God, what yeah. type of... You can. Absolutely, of course. All right. In your mind, just say just say the names to yourself. Mm -hmm. not, nothing out loud, but just, mm -hmm. just say the names to yourself. Can you stand up for a second? Oh, sorry. All right. This is the two dogs. Those names do connect with you. I don't know why. The first animal, some sort of golden retriever or something like that, I guess. Um, Labrador. Labrador. Picks the idea of um, uh, it's everything you're doing now. It's it's uh, not solidity so much, but dignity and majesty almost. It's, it's that sort of name that would conjure up that sort of yes, yeah. Oh, yes. And the black one. Look at me. Just think of the name. Can you search yourself? Can you pick out a letter in the middle of the name somewhere just to start me off with a letter? Thank you. You flickered a little bit there. Look at me. Just think of that letter and say it to me now, as if you were calling the dog as if you were calling the dog to you, because they're running around everywhere, aren't they? They're running around the house. V, it's a letter V you're thinking of, correct? correct? Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. great. Okay, so just, just think of that for me. Just keep the smell, the, not only the smell of the saffron, but also the kitchen in the other room. And your father's not there. It's not there. And you all sat around eating this. Mm -hmm. It's the name of the dog is Gavroche. Correct. Yeah. <laughs> is that your father named the dog after the restaurant? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Gavroche. Well, sit down. I'll eat it. Please. <laughs> it's very, very eerie. Very eerie. I was trembling at the time. I can't believe you got the names of the dogs. Or at least one of them. And he was on the right track on the other one as well, saying the, the name was a, a, a regimented, had something to do with a soldier. And the name of the second dog was Sultan, Sultan, as in His Majesty. So, uh, yeah, I, I'm, I'm gobsmacked. <laughs>